We're following two major stories out of Washington today. A federal push to protect IVF fails in the Senate. Republicans defeated Illinois Senator Tammy Duckworth's efforts to guarantee access to the procedure. Our political editor Mark Maxwell is here to explain why, Mark. Mike, only one Republican senator stood on the floor to debate against the Right to IVF Act, but several signed on to a short letter basically shrugging off concerns about its access. They wrote in vitro fertilization is legal in every state and blamed Democrats for waging what they called a partisan campaign of false fear mongering. Senator Josh Hawley's office sent us this video clip of him claiming several things that raise other questions. He claimed, for example, quote, their IVF bill is actually about abortion. The bill makes no mention of abortion procedures. He claimed in Missouri, quote, IVF is 100 percent legal and protected in the law. But just today, a former chief justice of the Missouri Supreme Court raised serious doubts about that in an op ed writing that after the Supreme Court overthrew Roe v. Wade, that, quote, Missouri's life begins at conception law also seems to outlaw in vitro fertilization. The abortion ban here is written almost word for word the same as it is in Alabama where IVF was jeopardized in the courts. For so many women, that lifelong hope of having children is now stuck in a hellish limbo as they remain uncertain whether more states will follow Alabama's lead. As they're forced to live in fear that Republican success come November would even further imperil their right to try to create a family. Hawley claimed the push to protect IVF was actually targeting religious liberty. His office would not make him available for follow-up questions, but one of our questions might have been the religious liberty to do what? His comment at least suggests he would defend a religious freedom to object to IVF, as the Southern Baptist Convention just did yesterday.